Rolle's theorem is a prelude to something that's called the mean value theorem, and that one has truly many applications. Here I will discuss an application on a polynomial for degree 5, and we show that the fx equals 0 has exactly one solution on 0, 1. Well, uh, first of all, we see that f0 is minus 4 is smaller than 0, and f1 is 1 is larger than 0. So, by the intermediate value theorem, we may conclude that since f is continuous, that there is a c in the open interval 0, 1, for which the graph should cross the x-axis, or it means the same as fc being equal to 0. So there's, that is actually a solution. Yeah. So now we have to show that there's exactly one. Now assume that there's another solution, say B. So assume another solution B such that FB equals FC equals zero. So suppose we have at least, if we assume at least two solutions, then we should be able to find a b different from c, for which the function value equals 0 as well. So then we have the following picture. So in c and b, we have the function value 0. Then Roller says, well, we have a differenti uh, differentiable function. The polynomials are all differentiable. So there must be a d in between c and b. that is stationary. So we should have a zero derivative in D. Now let's check if this, this is possible. So we just calculate the derivative of the function f. Well, f prime x equals 10 times x to the power 4 plus 3. Yeah, and this is a sum of only non-negative term, so and 3 is larger than 0, so the derivative is always larger than 0, so f prime d equals 0 is not possible. Yeah, so assuming another b for which the function value equals 0 leads to contradiction, so the assumption of an existence of an alternative b, an alternative to c, is wrong. So we have only one solution to the equation fx equals 0.